Hello, it's time for another bike adventure. This time I plan to circumnavigate Laval, just to the north of Montreal. Last year I rode around the circumference of Montreal, but this year I wanted to do the same with Laval, a smaller island which I'd only visited once before in 2015. What would I think of it? Laval sucks. 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 Stay tuned to find out more. I'll start by taking the metro to Cartier Station. This is where I'll be starting, at the corner of Lebec and Laurentides, so let's get on the bike and get this journey underway. So far it seems quite peaceful. If the road remains like this, I'll be happy. That was my first view of the Prairies River. I'll be following this for about 24 kilometers before I get to the easternmost point of the island, upon which I'll turn around and follow the North Shore. A quick stop to show you the Papineau Bridge, which gets you onto Montreal Island. And right there is the Visitation Church, which I stopped by on my circumnavigation of Montreal last year. I discovered a cemetery by the side of the road, so pulled in to take a quick look. I was beginning to wonder if this trip around Laval might be a bit dull and boring because I haven't seen so many interesting things yet, but I've just discovered this grand old church up the road. Take a look at this. Well, this is certainly interesting because right next door to the Catholic parish of St. Vincent de Paul is the St. Vincent de Paul Penitentiary. I certainly wasn't expecting to see a jail anywhere near a church. I just learnt the penitentiary opened in 1873. It closed in 1983. It was a tourist attraction for a while until 2007 when they discovered there was mold inside the stone walls. So they closed it permanently and it's been sitting here rotting away ever since. I could hear a ton of birds in the background. So I pulled in to find this massive roost of seagulls. I've stopped briefly at Parc Olivia Chabonneau at the easternmost tip of Laval for a banana. I'm about 23 kilometers through the ride. It's taking me a bit longer than anticipated just because I'm stopping along the way to, to film some footage. It's not the most exciting ride to be honest. Uh, I much prefer cycling around Montreal, but there's still three quarters of the way to go. So I'm curious to see what the rest of Laval has to offer. And also it's too cold. It's probably like five degrees at the moment. It's just not comfortable to be out on the bike in weather like this. I'm on the very easternmost tip of Laval. After I'd re-energized, I headed here, along Laval's North Shore, which would prove to be my favorite section of the whole journey. Jesus, even in Laval they have Rue Barre. I thought this was just a Montreal thing. An interesting anti-pollution notice here. What we throw into the river will flow to the sea. I've stopped here at this storage space for these concrete bollards and some earth moving equipment, but the view across the river is wonderful. I like this, very creative. I just passed a bridge that led to a little island, so I turned around and I'm gonna go see where it leads to. And I'm on Ile St. Joseph, a pretty small island. There seems to be about a dozen houses and a single road that ends just up here, actually. That's it, I'm gonna turn back and continue my tour of Laval. I see in Laval that people really like to announce their street number. I found some little ponies. I really like this area along the north shore of Laval. It's very peaceful and quaint to ride through. Now I'm at Avenue Papineau, which is in line with the bridge I saw earlier. I'm back now in suburban Laval, somewhere on the north shore. It's lost all its charm since I entered the suburbs again, but I'm trying to find something to eat, like trying to find a McDonald's or something like that, but there's no bloody fast food restaurants around here. So I'm pretty hungry. Hopefully I'll be able to stop soon and grab a bite. I just checked the map and I realized I've screwed up. I've taken a turn somewhere where I wasn't supposed to turn and now I'm actually headed back to where I began instead of along the North Shore of Laval. So I'm gonna keep going down here a little bit and turn back onto track, but it means I'll have missed a little bit of the outer circumference of the island. So, oh well, you win some, you lose some. I stopped at Dick Ann's for an unexpectedly tiny cheeseburger before regrettably continuing on through industrial Laval. It wasn't very nice. I'm on this industrial thoroughfare trying to find my way back to the path that'll take me around the circumference and I don't like it. Too much traffic. The bike paths here are really confusing to follow. It's just ugly. I'm about two thirds of the way through. I just stopped for a quick drink and I'm going to make the statement now that as a bike riding destination, Laval sucks. 
It's the first and last time I'm ever going to come here on my bike. I'm sure it's a lovely place to live, just not to ride. I'm only showing you the highlights here, but honestly, for an hour and a half, there was nothing appealing to see aside from this Buddhist temple. Eventually, though, I rejoined the riverside. I'm nearing the western extremity of Laval now, and I'm going to cross this little bridge to see where this leads to, because it looks like there could be some interesting stuff over there. Parking the bike here for a minute or two, and I'm going to go downstairs to see Il Boise. Nice spot for a bonfire and to set off some firecrackers. Here I am at the westernmost extremity of Laval at Parc des Chênes, where there is a curling club, a little playground, and a marina. Gee, it's a wealthy area here, quite a high proportion of mansions. Something I want to mention is the atrocious state of the roads here in Laval. Like most of Quebec, the roads are just full of potholes and bumps and dips and it's really disgusting to ride your bike on. About a kilometer back, I went over a particularly big pothole and it damaged my drink bottle holder. Although I'm not so sure if that says more about the state of the roads or the quality of my drink bottle holder. There's about three kilometers to go till I get back to Cartier Metro. So to give some final thoughts on my ride today, it's been okay. Uh, the fact that it was a cold and windy day certainly made it more uncomfortable. I would have preferred if it was the middle of summer. I don't think I'll come back to Laval again to cycle in a hurry. If you're thinking about doing this yourself, then I definitely recommend going up to the easternmost point and doing the ride on the North Shore. But uh, I don't think it's worth going all the way from the east to the west. In all fairness, it's not a bad place. It's just not as suited to cycling as Montreal. And a few hundred meters through a peaceful city park to finish the journey off. I can't even get through anyway. What the hell is this all about? <laughs> it's flooded. Well, that was unexpected. I've avoided the flooding and come a different way instead. So that's the loop. I'm going to end it here at 87.73 kilometers. I'm tired and I want to go home and have a shower and a beer. Thank you for joining me and see you again next time.